Knopfler's test is an orthopedic test for the sacroiliac joint and it is diagnostic or it's used to assess either an irritation, inflammation of the joint or what is known as sacroiliitis. Knopfler's test is done with our client lying prone and what we do is we bring the client's heel toward their buttock right here. So Mary Ann, I'm going to bring this right toward here. And does this cause any pain or discomfort in the lower back hip joint sacroiliac area? No. Okay. The idea behind knockless test is as we flex the leg at the knee joint, the quadriceps femoris musculature is stretched. One of the quads, the rectus femoris, crosses the hip joint. It's a hip flexor, but when the distal attachment is fixed, then the proximal attachment will pull the pelvic bone on that side, in this case on the right side, into anterior tilt. If the right pelvic bone moves into anterior tilt, but the left pelvic bone is stabilized against the table, then that means we're introducing motion into either the right side sacroiliac joint or the left side or both. If one of the sacroiliac joints is irritated or inflamed, that could cause pain and it would be positive for a knockless test. Knockless test is a very easy test to perform. The only thing that we need to be concerned with is if the client has a pathologic condition of the knee, then the client might not be able to have full flexion done here. So we need to know that in advance. We can better understand how to interpret the results of Knockless test if we look at the underlying mechanism. So here we have a bony pelvis, left pelvic bone, sacrum, right pelvic bone. If we're performing Knockless on the right side here, and the right leg goes into flexion, it creates tension on the right rectus femoris, which would then pull the right pelvic bone toward anterior tilt in this fashion here. Assuming that the left pelvic bone is stabilized against the table, which it would be, and therefore the sacrum is stabilized, we are introducing motion into the right sacroiliac joint. If that joint is inflamed, then that might cause the client to experience pain there. And indeed, the client pointing and indicating pain at the right side, the same side where we did the test, sacroiliac joint, is a positive for knockless test. But interestingly, very often the client will point to the contralateral sacroiliac joint because they experience pain there. When that occurs, we both know that the left side sacroiliac joint is irritated, inflamed, and we know that there's a limitation most likely in movement at the right side, the ipsilateral side sacroiliac joint. The mechanism is as follows. If the right side pelvic bone goes into anterior tilt and the right side sacroiliac joint is hypomobile, then the sacrum will go with the right side pelvic bone and the motion will occur at the opposite side, in this case, the left side sacroiliac joint. And if that joint is irritated or inflamed, the client would experience pain there. So, when the client points to the ipsilateral sacroiliac joint, it's a positive knock list for that side test being injured, inflamed. When the client points to the contralateral sacroiliac joint, it's a positive knock list for that side being irritated or inflamed, but it also tells us that the ipsilateral side sacroiliac joint is hypomobile.